okay guys so in today's video we are going to break down all the details under a break even point analysis so before we start with our calculations i want us first to understand what is the meaning of break even point and why is it important to calculate a break even point all right let's start with the main objective why do we actually have a break even point point number one we want to identify a point of no profit no loss when we said a break even point this is the situation where for example as a company we spend a 500 to start a business and we gain a 500 as a return which means that in this case we didn't make any profit and we didn't make any loss this is what we call a break even point a break even point so actually break even point that's all about no profit no loss but furthermore guys we have to be able to understand it better so that whenever you face any kind of question you will be able to interpret okay now let's go further let's say for example the company have objective to produce 500 thousand unit okay in this case company must be first identify where are they going to make a profit from this 500,000 unit that they produce because it can happen that they produce this 500,000 based on the cost or expense that they are going to make they are not going to make any profit it can happen that their breaking point is on 1 million units which means that they can't aim to produce 500,000 because they're not going to make any profit. The objective of the company, guys, is to make a profit, which means that they have to make sure that what they produce, they are more than break even point. Okay. So, how do we calculate a break even point? It's important. Yes, you can understand what is the meaning of break even point, but if you don't know the formula, how are you going to calculate it? It's going to be difficult for you. So, to calculate a break even point, guys, it's very simple. You use this formula a fixed cost divided by a contribution. per unit okay when we said contribution per unit guys this is the same as contribution per unit is equal to a selling price minus variable cost per unit even the selling price guys is per unit so please make sure that you know the difference between per unit and cost when we said cost obviously we are talking about the the total after we have multiplied by number of units produced but per unit is for one item per cost fixed cost is for the whole bench make sure that you know this different because they're going to give you a fixed cost per unit and if you just put fixed cost per unit here you're going to get it wrong okay so your contribution per unit it will be selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit then it will give you contribution per unit so this is the formula that you are going to use then after that you do the calculation so if you are required to calculate 
to 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 to, to comment make sure that you also uh, comment based on the explanation that i did so let's check the examples that we have okay it's 1.3 a chess factory Request number one provide a calculation to confirm a break even point for 2019 for max in other words from the information that we have you are going to confirm if the break even point is correct okay now let's go to information because now you have the formula and you know the formula is going to be simple we have to look for fixed cost then we divide by selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit or you can just say contribution per unit okay let's take under our chairs under our chairs from the information that we have our chairs uh, fixed cost is how much okay as you can see our fixed cost for chair uh, amount for 2019 is 20 rand okay which means that in order for us to get the total of fixed cost we have to say 20 rand multiplied by number of units produced and sold is gonna be 20 multiplied by 16,000 in this case they didn't give us the total but they want us to calculate and get what a, a total cost okay so which means that in this case you're going to take a 16,000 and you multiply by the first fixed cost that we have uh, is 20 rand and 76 which means that if you add a 76 plus 20 rand you are going to get 96 then from there that's where you're going to say it okay our fixed cost will, will be 96 per unit multiply by number of units produced of 16,000 okay if you do this calculation uh, you're going to get amount of one five three six thousand okay now we we got the first point of fixed cost we have to divide by selling price per unit okay let's go back to our information and check selling price per unit our selling price per unit is 3 night for chair 2019 is 3 90 minus variable cost per unit which is how much 3 or 5 if you can check on the table they give us total variable cost and we check per unit is 3 or 5 is 3 or 5 so normally per unit guys you will see that the amount they are very smaller than compared to to cost cost because we already multiply by what number of units produced obviously we're gonna get a bigger amount okay now <clears throat> we identify those figures uh, let's calculate this side is gonna give us 85 which means that is gonna be one five three six thousand divided by eighty five. Then let's check our answer. Okay. If you do all this calculation, it's gonna give you eighteen thousand. and 70 comma 5 which if you round it guys is going to give you 71 and if we check on our table guys we have confirmed that our breaking even point is correct because in this case we were already given the answer but they want us to confirm through the calculation which means that max allocation guys are from here on the calculations okay not on the answer not on the final answer all right
Now, because we calculated this, this was not the only question. They also want us to comment. Okay, let's check. The question was comment on the break even point and production level achieved. Okay, this is the break even point. Remember, I said that the break even point simply means that this is the point where no profit, no loss. Okay, which means that, in other words, they have to produce more than this to make, for them to make a profit. Now let's check how many units they produce. It's if you can check on the table, this company produced 16,000 and sold 16,000. And their break-even point is 18,000. Now the question is, are they making a profit? Did they make a profit here? It's a no. There's no profit here. Profit start from 18,072 unit from this company, which means that they make a loss. They make a loss, which means that when we comment the first part, we have to quote a figures. Guys, to quote a figures, it simply means that you are just going to say, their break even point is 18 or 71 and another point you just say they sold 16,000 unit okay and the last one uh, now you comment about your understanding on break even point which means that you are going to say that this company made a loss there is no any profit that has been made by this company so this is how you should analyze a break even point so i hope from now on you have a better understanding on how to calculate a break even point so i'm gonna do a, another part two for break even point analysis so thank you so much guys for watching this video and please 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 if you are an accounting student, make sure that you subscribe on this channel because accounting solution is going to change your life on better understanding, on the accounting analysis. Whenever you are studying, it can be high school, it can be university, anywhere, guys. So thank you so much, guys. I will see you on the next video. Goodbye.